So I want you to tell me how you recruit and how you hire as an engineering manager. Hey everyone, welcome back to another engineering management mock interview with Exponent. My name is Kevin Wei, and on today's show, we have Josefa. We're going to be doing a leadership type question today. And before we get into that, Josefa, can you just tell the audience a little bit about who you are? Uh, hey everyone, um, I'm Josefa. I'm an engineering manager um, at Facebook. I worked in the software um, industry for about 12 years um, at PayPal and uh, Wealthfront previously. Great, thank you. So for today's mock, we're going to suppose that you're interviewing for a company called Mang. Okay, so I'm your interviewer and here at company Mang, we're hiring an engineering manager. And one of your responsibilities will be building a world-class engineering team. Sure. Um, I think um, from a uh, responsibility standpoint, right, hiring and recruiting is a very important role of an um, engineering manager or for any leader um, in an organization. Um, in order to hire uh, for your team, uh, one of the f first steps you need to know, um, uh, you, you need a few data points over here, right? So basically you need to know how many people you, you need uh, in your team. Secondly, you need to know what skill set um, that, that you need, right? What uh, experience level you need all your engineers to be. You necessarily don't want all senior engineers in your team. And on the flip side, you don't want all junior engineers on your team, right? So you, you want a healthy mix between seniors and juniors uh, and different different skill sets from front end to back end to database, depending on the type of uh, uh, product that, that you're building on. So. Uh, in order to kind of get into the hiring a uh, hiring piece, first step is need to figuring figuring that that out. That uh, how many res um, candidates do you need, and what is the specific skill set you're, you're you're looking looking for. Based on that, you can kind of start your your hiring process. The other thing um, I think you 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 need to uh, do is uh, do some uh, uh, legwork in making sure that you have a really good. Uh, you know, explanation in, in your job postings in, in terms of what are the responsibilities that you expect the candidates to do, um, give a background about the team, uh, how will you also in a few sentences help um, that candidate, um, you know, progress and grow in, in their career career as, as well. Um, the other important thing also, I think, is making sure that the team is, is bought in into the hiring and they can kind of help uh, you know, talk to some candidates and uh, make sure that they uh, also are able to uh, see the, uh, the engineering culture and, and are motivated kind of uh, um, by that. Got it. Makes sense. So having the team talk to the candidate, making sure that the candidate themselves um, can have buy-in from reading the job posting and making sure that you hire the right mix of seniority. Um, let's dive a little bit deeper here and talk about the candidate funnel. So can you tell me how you would optimize the candidate funnel? Yeah, sure. Uh, so I think basically the candidate funnel, you can you can think of it as, is how any funnel would be, right? You, you have a whole lot of candidates applying for, for the roles. You, you would in general screen candidates based on um, their experience, whatever they have in their resumes. Um, then they, they go to the f probably the first round of of your interviews and 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 thereby and every every subsequent round you, you are basically narrowing narrowing the 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 pool um, over here so the idea idea of the funnel is is twofold right one is making sure that you you have very highly qualified uh, intelligent um, motivated candidates going through your funnel the other thing also of having an optimized funnel is that you are uh, making sure that the time that your team is spending in interviewing is uh, not going to waste, right? So you want to make sure that you you want to interview candidates that you have a high pr probability of landing. Uh, and by then, there are two aspects here. One is that they are they will be able to technically clear the bar uh, that you've set for them, and secondly, they are motivated to join join your company. So one of the things you want to kind of optimize here is to make sure that you are able to suss that things out from the candidates uh, correctly. Um, 
right so basically i think the way you would optimize optimize your uh, funnel is once you once you talk with your candidates right you want to see that uh, have they uh, invested uh, any time uh, reading about um, you know the company you, you share the mission the vision you you talk about some some data points around uh, how how well the company is doing right the other thing you you also do spend as much as give the candidates as much as time as possible to to ask questions um, so that you are able to uh, show them what kind of a manager you are what kind of a team they would be they would be working it over here you are gauging also gauging the interest of of the candidates are they have they come prepared with a set of questions they they want to ask you are they you know asking you detailed pointed questions or are they asking you very sim uh, straightforward boilerplate boilerplate questions right this kind of also helps you in some sense gauge the interest uh, of the candidate uh, itself the the other part of an uh, um, the interview funnel is the technical technical bar right uh, you you are hiring for um, software engineering positions um, most likely so you want to make sure that you you have a good technical bar so over there you want to make sure that you, you have good questions uh, prepared that will test out um, the skills of the candidate you you have a well calibrated interview panel uh, so that they are able to um, you know make sure that it's the same bar set across all 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 candidates uh, and only then when it it kind of passes on board counts you, you move the candidate to the to the next step Makes sense. Yeah, um, definitely want a team that's competent as well as making sure that you're optimizing the time for the team um, so that, you know, if, if they're not interviewing candidates, they could be coding or doing um, work for the product. Right. Um, let's let's say that now that you have someone who has cleared that technical round and um, you think that they have the level of interest that um, fits the, the what, you, what you're looking for. Um, how do you go about in really closing them and getting them to sign the offer? Sure, I think uh, one of the things you you want to do here is is whilst the interview process is going on, you you want to make sure that you gauge the interest of the candidate uh, in in joining the company, right? So during the interview, you want to ask the candidate. Um, you know whether what kind of research they have done about the company have they read the blogs do they know anybody within the company um, and if yes what what have what information they they've gotten about the company they've liked what they've heard heard or not the other thing you would also want to ask the candidate open uh, very candidly is whether they are interviewing at at other places invariably most candidates obviously do interview at multiple places at the same time uh, but you need to also kind of gauge that if they are stack ranking different uh, offers, where does your uh, company kind of st uh, st uh, stay in that st uh, stack, right? So um, you, you want to make sure that um, during the interview process, you, you're able to get that information. Also, we want to make sure that compensation and uh, benefits discussions ha have happened um, before you, you extend the offer and not during um, the offer so they they are kind of aware of uh, what um, at, 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 at least at a high level what compensation they are going to get there shouldn't be a complete mismatch of uh, expectations versus what what you are offering uh, and that's kind of going to be a waste of time for for everybody so I think there are some some prerequisites that you you want to make sure that you you follow through during during the interview process before you get to actually kind of extending the offer and, and closing the the candidate now now let's say the candidate is kind of done well through, throughout the interview process uh, and, and you do want to go go ahead and, and extend the the offer so i think one of the things you you want to make make sure is that you you you, you definitely uh, talk to the candidate extend a, a verbal offer get confirmation from them that they are willing to to accept that offer at the at the given salary and whatever that compensation structure looks like they are happy with it uh, if everything's fine, you extend a formal uh, written offer to the uh, to the candidate along with you know all of the benefits, compensation uh, details uh, attached to them. Give the candidates a few days uh, so they can think about it and and uh, and come back to you uh, in case of questions. If not, at least a signed signed uh, offer, right? But I would say do set a set a timeline. 
uh, in terms of you know reaching reaching back uh, to the candidate in case the candidate doesn't uh, respond you don't definitely don't want to have an exploding offer uh, kind of thing over here that if you don't sign in a couple days we are going to recant the offer you don't want uh, you don't want to get into that kind of situation but you also don't want the candidate to kind of uh, keep that offer with them uh, you know for weeks on weeks on end so uh, making sure that that expectation is, is set, set uh, with the candidate once the candidate does um, sign the offer and uh, you figure out um, a joining date you uh, you do want to keep the candidate engaged as well um, and and the reason i i say this is uh, from experience that the candidate is not ideally closed until they step into the door uh, at your office they can st- accept an offer and still not sh- show up so you want to make sure that if there is a big enough gap from accepting the offer to uh, joining joining date Uh, you want to keep the candidate engaged. You know, once in a while, just just send out an email asking them if they are going good. They need any help, any information. Uh, you know, so you want to kind of make sure that they know that you are you are around. Cool. Thanks, Josefa. We can stop the mock interview here. Take a step back. Thanks for giving how you would um. Thanks for giving your answer for how you would answer a question like this. And before we stop the video, can you tell the audience maybe some tips about what And what like hiring managers should be doing, or maybe what companies would look for in hiring managers when they are hiring people who are going to be people managers. Yeah, sure. I think you definitely for engineering managers, you you want to know the motivation for why someone's become an engineering manager, right? Given an engineering manager in most companies is not a promotion; it's a lateral lateral move. So you want to be moving to an to a management positions for the right uh, right right reasons. uh um, the other thing you would want to also know is how much the person is motivated to kind of uh, you know grow grow his team uh um and uh, you know stand up uh, for 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 his or her her team the other thing i think from a hiring manager uh, standpoint is also getting some level of uh, technical uh, knowledge obviously most engineering managers don't code on a day to day basis but but being able to understand how how systems are built what are good practices is is equally important i think that helps to kind of gain that trust uh, trust of the engineers great and thanks for going i feel like you really went above and beyond with the um, answers here so definitely appreciate that i'm sure the audience appreciates that too so thanks ozefa for your time and for the audience good luck with your upcoming engineering manager interview thanks so much for watching Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to let us know that this video is valuable for you and of course check out hundreds more videos just like this at tryexponent.com. Thanks for watching and good luck on your upcoming interview.